Hi, my name is Wayne Camburn. In 2017, October, my wife and I purchased timeshare from Spinnaker Resort in Branson, Missouri. Uh, they said because we had timeshare, they had a specialist they wanted to transfer us to. With his own office, his name is Scott Dilgert, who no longer works there. Um, <clears throat> proceeded to sell us on Spinnaker Upcoming Resort, uh, comparing it to Win Wyndham which we already owned. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, I mean, he sold us on the fact of how much better it was in Wyndham, uh, how much more you would get from it, and how more flexible it was, and uh, which I don't know how it could be more than what when we already had with Wyndham. It didn't make sense to us. But it he sold us a bill of goods. Uh, in order to purchase this, uh, we... Of course, we had to do it that weekend or else we would lose a special deal. But in order to purchase this, they had to open up a credit line with Bank of America and open up a, a you know $10,000 credit line for both myself and my wife. <clears throat> Basically, credit cards that we had to pay each month. And it was a special introductory. And we said we couldn't do it because of Wyndham. They said, well, we'll help you sell Wyndham. And so they hooked us up to somebody that would help us sell Wyndham. Uh, we <clears throat> started paying on the Spinnaker. Had to put a down payment on it, of course. Uh, we then proceeded to try to sell Wyndham. Uh, the Wyndham wasn't selling. Uh, the salespeople were hard to get a hold of, as you could uh, you know, expect. And, you know, as I looked on the inventory that they had for sale... Um, <clears throat> Stuff that was even for sale less than ours, comparatively, was, was not even moving. Nothing was moving on this website. Uh, so, it was getting frustrating for us. My wife did not want to purchase this. At the last minute, she, you know, started getting wet feet or cold feet and did not want to purchase this. And I insisted on we doing it. because, and, and I guess I was sold on the fact that Scott, he kind of played on our emotions a little bit. We told him about our past and you know, losing our, losing my first son, and he, you know, then said that, well, you remind me of my parents, you know, I wouldn't, <clears throat> I would sell this to my parents, I would not steer my parents into, into, into a raw deal, a bad deal, and, you know, you remind me of my parents, and I guess I, I guess he sold me on that, he, I believed him, so I talked Julie into doing it, um, and since then, since it wasn't moving, and here we are still paying on these credit cards each month, and, and you know, we weren't using the, 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 the timeshare because we had Wyndham. We couldn't go that much. Um, since then, things have gone kind of downhill. Uh, you know, my oldest son now, is, is he's, uh, he's got some issues, some anger issues and stuff that we're dealing with, and then we have that timeshare that we're paying on, uh, and it's just creating a lot of tension and we're not using it. And, and I'm, I'm afraid that, you know, besides losing my first son, I might lose, I might lose my wife or another son. And I, I can't afford to do that. I, I, I just, it's very stressful in our relationship and our, our, our family. Having that is not, is, is just one extra stress that we have. Uh, we have to get out of it. I mean, we've, I've tried, I've, um, I've called them numerous times. They said you can't. We don't have a buyback policy, which, which Scott told me that they did have a buyback policy. It's just officially they don't because you have to initial that they don't. But they they do it. They when they I guess when they say they get done building uh, an extra um, this these other units that they'll need inventory and that they'll sell it for us and that Scott's not there anymore and that's not happening. So. Uh, <clears throat> we're stuck. We're, we're literally we're we're stuck with this timeshare, and it's uh, not not it's not good. Um, I've sent letters. They responded to my. They they received my letters. Never responded. Uh, I've sent letters to the attorney general. I've been trying everything to try to get out of this. You know, I just want to give it back to them. And they won't even take it back. I just want to be out of this, you know, these maintenance fees for this timeshare and get out of this payment for this for this timeshare. We, we don't need it. 
Uh, it's very stressful. Um, whoever's watching this, uh, Spinnaker Resort, Ms. Branson, Missouri, don't believe what they say. Uh, don't don't go that route. Uh, you, you know, you'll be in the same situation. Thanks.